Hey guys, Core Ross and welcome to the 6 News Roundup. Today we'll round up all the Rainbow 6 News over the last week or so. So up first we've got Year 5 Season 2.1. This was a brand new patch that came out. The great thing is it came out for PC, Xbox and PS4 all in the same day. And it brings this match cancellation feature along with a big nerf to Malusi and a small little fix to Ace and Habana. Along with a whole bunch of other bug fixes for the rest of the game. Now talking of patches, we also have a new patch for the test server which is Year 5 Season 2.2. Now there's nothing exciting in here, there's no like balance changes or stuff like that. But it is bringing a bunch of bug fixes, but also new reporting categories. So they're going to change toxic behaviour to griefing when you're reporting. You can also report cheating, voice abuse, this is for players on the same team as you. And abusive chat, which of course you can report for both teams. So that is the next patch which is currently being worked on. Nothing exciting like I say, but it is in the test server right now. Moving on from that, we had a dev blog which was called Rainbow Six Siege Anti-Cheat War. And one of their teams, which was the R6 Siege Anti-Cheat Strike Team, was part of this blog. So it was interesting to read. They've already put out a blog post when it comes to DDoSing and some of the console issues, which I went over before. This one was specifically going into PC stuff, so things like banning hackers and stuff like that. And the thing that they massively upgraded over the complaints I had about the DDoSing blog was they came in with some really nice graphs that were really, really well made and a massive step up from what we got before. So good to see that they're improving overall. It was also interesting to see how many people have been banned, but also that the ban rate is going up and up and up along with the popularity of the game. So there's more and more cheaters joining, which is a pain in the ass, of course, and a downside to the game actually getting more popular as it goes on. But overall, you know, a good blog. There's also something that might have went under the radar for a lot of people, and that was... They updated their issues blog post, which they regularly update. One of the things that they put in at this time was new sound packaging system. Now, this actually was in the top issues before, back early at the start of this year. And it was said to be coming with season two, but I think obviously the human malware did kind of mess that up for a bit. So it's now targeted for year five, season three. It does have a new name now, so we have a better idea of what's actually coming with this. And it sounds like it'll be pretty significant and also help them to fix sound-based bugs in the future. But will it actually work? That's the big thing. Then we've got, of course, the Battle Pass that came out this week too. I'm not too fussed about the Battle Passes. I don't usually spend too much time on them. So I'm interested in how many of you guys out there have actually decided to pick this up. Or if you're just doing the free track and possibly leaving your R6 credit balance for say the special event when it comes in probably, I don't know, a month or a month and a half from here with, of course, paid packs alongside it. So let me know what you're thinking about the Battle Pass so far. So that's it for this week, guys. It's been actually surprisingly busy. I was expecting it to be a lot quieter this week. We had a lot more information than I was expecting, which was good. And the game does seem to be moving on in the right direction, but there's obviously still massive amounts of issues continuing to plague the game. And we'll see how long the player base can potentially put up with that whether it keeps going up or whether it starts going down. But we'll have to wait and see. And also, I'm just waiting to see what the next-gen consoles and stuff are going to have when it comes to games. Right now, I'm really disappointed. I was totally going to buy an Xbox, but it looks like, so far, everything from Sony and Mercy has been pretty boring. And I might actually just you know decide to wait another six months after launch and pick it up for cheaper. So I don't know. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.